from an early age I could draw. So I, I always thought it would be fun to do something with art. And I consider myself more a journalist than an artist. 95% of the cartoon is the idea. And 5% is the drawing. And this is a, pretty much a panic job. I have to have an idea today. A good cartoon has an opinion. Because opinions create controversy. Cartoons smack you in the face. You, know, you have five seconds to engage a reader in a cartoon rather than a full article. The chimp cartoon to me was an example of bad editing and a weak idea. So where is the editor that says, you know what, I get the point. There was an incident with the chimp. What if people look at this cartoon this way? And then that's the moment when the cartoonist goes, wow, you know, pfft, didn't even cross my mind. I'm not going to run that cartoon. I'm sure there are others that would defend that cartoon and say, this cartoonist has a right to do that. If people misinterpret it, that's their misinterpretation. That's not my, my way of looking at this particular job. Well, I'm, I'm just very enthusiastic about what, what I do. The shrinking of journalism, is, it's difficult for me to be super optimistic about someone being a cartoonist, but I always suggest that they try and do animation. Um, not everyone can do it. When I do animation, I'm fortunate enough to be blessed with the ability to do halfway decent um, impersonations of people, which is something I've done my whole life. It used to get me into school, in trouble in school. But it's just a skill that I have. Also, I have a not horrible singing voice. So if I do a singing song parody, I can, I can do it. It is really a strange thing trying to figure out where the ideas come from. Occasionally, you know, I'll pop up in the middle of the night and I'll you know, I have a pad by my bed and I'll write something down and I wake up in the morning and it's, it makes no sense. And other times it's a great idea. I take notes and doodle and do stuff that used to get me in trouble in school. I make a list of topics that I think will be good for a cartoon for the next day. Into my office with my list and this is, you know, just a, uh, what it looks like. It's just a mess of notes and scribbles and doodles. This is, this is what the list looks like. So this is basically a list of, of all the topics that are going on and then I will just basically sit here and stare at this list and do some drawings and hopefully you know one or two of these uh, topics will begin to formulate uh, into an idea. Uh, once I go through the list and I come up with uh, a couple of rough sketches I will take them into the editor and show her the ideas and uh, generally 98% of the time she approves the idea. You know, it's much easier if someone is uh, not attractive. Obama's handsome and he's young. So the things that I've focused on, he has, a, he has quite a long chin and he has big ears. They're not the same kind of ears that Bush had. His ears are a little, uh, Obama's ears are rounder, but they're, you know, he even makes fun of them. Now I'm starting to think that maybe the chin is a little too long. So I thought maybe the next time I draw him, I'll shorten the chin just the tiniest little bit and you know, I'm a pretty good cartoonist. There are others that are fantastic. If you can draw a beautiful caricature of someone and it says nothing, um, as opposed to drawing stick figures saying something very interesting or funny or pithy, I would rather draw the stick figures.